This is the Devil's Claw Plant. People throughout the southwestern United States more readily recognize its iconic seed pods that look like this. The pods evolved these hooks that grasp onto the legs or feet of passing animals like javelina or deer. The animals drag the seed pods away from the parent plant, thus spreading the plant throughout a larger region. As the seed pod dries, it splits open, and the seeds, which are contained in the bulb part above the hooks, fall out onto the ground. They're hard and black. I found some of these seeds last summer, and I threw them in my yard. I threw maybe four or five of these. I live in Arizona, which is the largest range of the Devil's Claw in the United States. This summer, with our active monsoon, the plants sprouted and grew. After a few days of watching them rapidly double in size, I decided to record and document their life cycle. The plants themselves are quite sticky. If you touch the leaves or you touch the pods, they have a sticky goo on them. Some people speculate that this is a carnivorous plant behavior, but that's not proven. It's also thought that maybe it's just a defense mechanism against insects that would eat the devil's claw. The iconic seed pods appeared pretty soon after the plants had reached a medium size. They look sort of like okra. The pods grew from day to day. and it continued sprouting flowers throughout the cycle of the plant. These pods can be eaten and are prepared in a manner similar to okra, though I myself have not tried it. The plants were quite susceptible to the amount of rain, and even after a few dry days would show some evidence of drying out. The seed pods continued to grow rapidly. They dried out quite quickly when there was no rain. The wilting happened more or less overnight. And yet the pods continued to grow, and some flowers continued to bloom. The plant on the right suffered quite badly when the rain slowed down. My yard doesn't have the same drainage as the washes where these often grow, and I suspect that the soil was not as rich as the soil you would find in a wash. I felt quite badly for the plant, but I didn't water it because I was interested to see what it would do naturally. At the same time that my plants were withering and drying out, this robust devil's claw in the arroyo near my house was still big and bushy and strong, and the seed pods were quite a lot larger than the ones in my yard. The plant was much bigger overall. However, by the end of September, even the wild devil's claws had dried out a lot. 
They had not, however, dried out as much as my poor plant. The plant to the right had completely dried out. The middle plant was thicker, but not doing much better. Here's another wild devil's claw growing in the arroyo. It's doing better than mine. And you see that the seed pods were large, large clumps. As my plant dried out, the seed pods lost their outer husk and began to split apart. They took on the iconic look that people generally recognize when they encounter a devil's claw seed pod. This plant had many, many pods. It was quite large, and the individual pods were very big as well. I let them stay on the plant so that they can dry out and spread their seeds. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Devil's Claw plant.